ಶುಭೋದಯ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೋಗ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ರೋವಿಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯೋಗ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟೆಂತ್ ಇಯರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ಲಿ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಇಂಟರಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಟೀಚರ್ ವಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ it's a, because of the it's a divine without divine blessing we can't continue this one without any interruption for last 10 years is the 37th batch 371th class here in in this center the uh, yoga it's a yoga has uh, different meanings it's a uh, it's a one of the meanings of yoga is upaya upaya means uh, uh, it's a solution yoga one meaning of yoga is uh, upay upay means solution and uh, it is uh, we encounter problems in the bodily phase in the mind and in the soul it's a uh, it's a adi bhautik adi daivik and adhyatmik we need it's a we encounter problem in the physical in the body various ailments in the body come to us yesterday one of the students uh, she was saying that she had uh, for years she had a problem with uh, going to the toilet and the doctor recommended that she had to undergo the surgery immediately and she attended the yoga and uh, yoga is a life turning experience and without surgery she overcome that problem and she was uh, saying that uh, it's a uh, yoga has given her a new life and uh, she says yoga is nothing but the god that her experience it's a yoga it's a nothing but god that she it has given a new life she thought she she was going to die and yoga has given her a new life so yoga helps in bo- body that adi bhautik yoga is an upaya it's a means for in the for, uh, for overcoming the problems in the body and yoga is a means to overcome the problems in the mental level when we are associating with the people we go through various stress and anxiety and yoga helps us to overcome that problem that the yoga is a means to overcome the problems in the mental level and yoga is an upaya yoga is a means to overcome the problem in the soul every soul there is a longing is there we don't know what it is asking for it's a, there is a, if you go through a, a glamour magazine that the people with a happy face that uh, young people having a posh uh, expensive house porsche car and uh, exquisite dinner they think that is the happiness there is a smile on their face but in reality are they really happy it's a, it's external things can can it bring bring in lasting happiness but uh, there is everyone has a, having a craving inside there is something lacking within yoga gives an nourishment for the starving soul so there is a hunger in the senses also having a hunger there is a hunger for the soul yoga caters for the soul also this uh, quenches the hunger of the soul yoga is an upaya for the body yoga is an upaya for the mind yoga is an upaya for the soul it's a yoga for the body mind and the soul and uh, yoga how to derive the benefit that uh, yoga that uh, they say we have to be consistent in our practice yoga is not uh, one term yoga it's a uh, f- five term yoga one year yoga it's a lifelong commitments lives we have to spend in yoga to derive the benefit and in uh, various uh, it's a uh, upaya coming back to upaya in uh, shri krishna it says yogasya karu, kuru karmani sangam tyaktva dananjaya yogasya kuru karmani here yogasya kuru karmani means with the means with the skill do the action such that it doesn't bind you it's a yoga in bhagavad gita also that meaning has come upaya means do, do such a way that whatever actions you are doing it won't put you in binding it won't trap you that is the yoga means upaya yoga means it's a solution yoga means it's a means to achieve the highest 
and how long you have to do it's a, in patanjali yoga sutra it's a bhagavad gita is an authoritative text in yoga it's a, a parallel text sir patanjali yoga sutra it talks about ashtanga yoga yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana and samadhi samadhi and many people misinterpret samadhi as uh, it's a sitting quiet and without doing anything and that is called as samadhi and some other people they say samadhi means once a person dies they say he attained samadhi that is samadhi samadhi has a different meaning samadhi means uh, whatever we take up there's a consistency in practice consistency we are not hopping from one to another one object to another that there is a goal goal is set firm we are firm on our resolution we are treading we are not changing the goal post we are focusing and treading towards that one without any fail that is called a samadhi that's uh, uh, some people that uh, doing the practice in the beginning some people say this is the best practice they will do for one or two months they lose interest somebody says not that is not the one do here it's uh, they will take up that one for do it for 3 4 years they lose the interest somebody more popular will come they say that is not the one do here and they take up that one and in this process the life passes out it's like a digging a well somebody says water is there dig a well i dig for 1 1 meter and uh, i lose interest somebody says not there dig here i start digging for 2 meters i somebody says not there there i start digging for 5 meters and in that uh, whole life is a digging process and by then different holes are been dug and by then life has passed out and uh, samadhi samadhi means uh, having a goal that uh, no more jumping around that goal is set and steady with steady focus and practice that one go deeper and deeper deeper and deeper and we will achieve the purpose of our life that is the samadhi it is mentioned in that one and uh, patanjali yoga sutra patanjali is a yoga sutra first sutra it says atha yoga anushasanam atha it's a atha yoga atha means now that meaning of that one now now on yoga anushasanam be disciplined in your practice let us it's a be disciplined in our practice let us be sincere in our practice let us attain the samadhi attain the samadhi means no more hopping around let us be disciplined let us be serious in our practice and let us go deeper into that one atha yoga anushasanam and the next sutra it says chitta vritti nirodaha chitta vritti nirodaha means uh, not to be brooding over the past or be anxious about the future be at the present that uh, that's the one of the requirement for the uh, it's a serious seeker of the yoga that's uh, not to dwell on the past or contemplate on the future be at the present be at this moment what is important do that one it's a chitta vritti nirodaha it's a chitta chitta means a, it's a memory shell chitta also means chinta in the chinta in uh, sanskrita means worrying no more worrying do not worry chitta vritti nirodaha that chinta you stop your chintana and be at the present and do start your practice and uh, next one it says tada drishtu surupe avasthanam doing that one you establish in yourself you see the delight in you and you derive the happiness within you tada drishtu surupe avasthanam in bhradaranika upanishad it says uh, it's a uh, i am teaching yoga people may think i am doing this one because i want to please others it is says we are not doing that one to please others and uh, it says it's a we are doing to please myself you are attending the class it is not to satisfy anyone you are attending the class to please yourself i am pampering my wife not to please her because to please myself i am looking after my children not to help them but to please ourselves and it says nobody does anything for others we do everyone does 
to please themselves that is the atma kama every whatever we do end of the day everyone wants to please themselves that is the ultimate purpose and uh, in this purpose that people say he is he has done lot of sacrifice nobody does any sacrifice because whatever we do to satisfy it brings in happiness within us and in this pleasing and some of the actions uplifts us some of the actions pulls us down and uh, it's a uh, in the pleasing tada drishtu it says uh, in the pleasing it's a uh, look within look within contemplate within contemplate within then you discover the real happiness and uh, we say that uh, some people uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, women they put on the makeup that makeup before going out it's uh, they say do not be happy with what you are not to make up do not look like others be happy be with within yourself not to make up to look like some somebody some other person tada drishtu swarupe avasthanam look within that's the real joy is there you are not satisfying anyone you are satisfying yourself go within that is the it's a patanjali says that is the real happiness you discover within yourself and we will cover this patanjali yoga sutra deeper in the next class lie down on your back